Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be tackling another one of my 17 year old daughter's Attack on Titan binder envelope. DIY style, no crickets were used in the making of this video. So I'm glad you're here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go! Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Before we get started with this video, as always, let's go ahead and start with our prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help me get to know you better and you guys to get to know me better. So today's prompt -a card is... Oh goodness, what useful class should all public school students have to take? I'm gonna say budgeting. Definitely all public school students should have to take some type of budgeting class. I know when I was in high school, we learned how to write a check and um, how to pick out things to buy for a house type of thing on a budget, but I don't ever feel like I was ever taught how to be frugal, how to make sure that you're saving, you're not just spending all your money, you don't go get credit cards, you don't do that type of thing and put yourself into debt unless it's absolutely necessary. I never learned any of that. I wish I had. My life would probably be a lot different financially. But what about you guys? What useful class should all public school students have to take? All right, so another envelope we're going to tackle today. I'm so excited because I didn't get to do it for a while. I feel like it has been, with being sick and everything, I just never got to another envelope. So I'm really, really happy to be able to tackle two this week. And the only reason why is because next Monday will be a cash stuffing. So I figured I would just spend today doing another envelope since it'll be another week or so before I can actually do another one of these. So with that said, let me show you guys what we're going to be drawing today. We're going to be putting this on the envelope. It is her gifts. If this is the first time watching, this is what I like to do. I like to find an image, or in this case, my daughter gives me an image, and I add a little anime bubble with the font for anime and blah, and it just is what it is. This is what it turned out to look like. So I will take this, slide it inside of this envelope, tape it down so that it doesn't move, and I will draw or trace over this image exactly as you see it or as best as I can and then once I'm done I'll take this out and the image will still be here and then I'm sure you can tell that there's two envelopes here and that's because this one is a lot shorter in length here and taller and I don't like that I don't like when my envelopes don't match in size so I bought these and didn't know that they were shorter and now I'm just going to put them to good use. So once I have the image drawn on here, I will cut it out and take that and slide it into here, which is really good in helping it not transfer from other to other envelopes, if that makes sense. But anyway, if you want more information, you're free to go and watch other videos where I've done this and I explain it a little bit more in detail. But I'm not going to bore you guys with that this time. I'm just ready to get started. So the rest of this will be time lapse and I hope you enjoy the music while you watch me work. And at the end of the video, we'll come back together. We'll check it out a closer look and I'll let my daughter look at it and see what she thinks.
mama said you're meant to burn as bright as a star among the midnight sky all the pressure blinded me but now i see i'm not different from the rest you said i'd fly away Again, another pretty easy envelope. This one had a little bit more time consuming to it just because of all of the detail that is in this, but I think it looks really cute. It looks like the picture enough, I think. Yes. <laughs> and now we need to see how my daughter likes it and let her put it in her binder. All right, what do you think? Ooh, I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I did my best. There's a lot of detail in this one. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what to do. Yeah. There. Oh my goodness, we are getting through these, aren't we? Yeah. I like, that still looks weird. <laughs> but I like them. Yeah, they are good. Yep. All right, so I've just finished, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to need your next three images. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, you heard it here. She loved it. She thinks it looks cute. It's exactly what she had envisioned for her. So yeah, this is this is where it's going. I am noticing that when I do have a lot of um, ink that I have to use, like for the instance, this one, it is transferring on the inside of the envelope like that. So, I mean, it's a pretty easy fix. I can just take this out and put it in a new envelope and this would no longer be there, um, which I might do for her before this is over. Um, but that's just the perks of being able to do that. Um, but yeah, this is coming along nicely, very nicely. So you guys will just have to stay tuned to what she picks out next for her next envelopes. Um, I think in total she had 14. So we've got six done. That's almost halfway through. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. My channel is primarily based on budgeting, and this is just helping my 17-year-old daughter learn the ropes of budgeting as well. So hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family. Let me inspire you each week. I'd love to. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Monday, a cash stuffing. As always, until next time. Bye.